And now here's some uh, in educational stuff. So I get to play my educational thing. Here we go. Where's my educational thing? I just love playing stuff when I make it. Makes me happy. Man, don't give me. You know what? I need to get a flea thing for your butt. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so many. Hey, so many. Yeah, so many. Yeah, so many lies. Look in my eyes. They know I'm the truth. They know I'm knocking them down every time I step in the pool. Uh -huh. We ain't got a lot. They know we the vibe. We living in the blue. Yeah. Young conscience, you my life. A movie. I live in the smoke. Uh -huh. Ain't no picking around. I'm on the move. Checking the notes, yeah, it's no. only us too. So you know we coming that coat. Mm -hmm. We on the road smoking dope. Look at the blue, yeah, we used to chill on the stove. Now we out here working the nose. Uh -huh. yeah, that ain't shit you. Yeah, that ain't shit you. Yeah, that ain't shit you. All right, sis. Uh, good luck. Moving on in stories, former Deputy Chief Brenda Goss Andrews explains importance of force multiplier safety. What is up with you? Where did you go play? I didn't let you outside. And here she is. I'm sorry. I'm fussing at my uh, fur baby, I guess you could say. I do not feel comfortable saying that. So Brenda Goss Andrews, immediate past president of the National Association of Black Law Enforcement Executives, also known as Noble. Why didn't you just say Noble? And former deputy police chief in Detroit, retired, served as law enforcement advisor for Black Information News Locket and Storic uh, Force Multiplier Safety Awareness Campaign. Former deputy chief Andrews is a member of the BIN Local Roundtable or BLR. There's too many letters. A form a forum uh, for business. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for the double like. I went into yours in the middle of the night, couldn't stay up, but I did say I did like it, just couldn't stay up. Uh, let's see. You can learn more about former Deputy Chief uh, Goss Andrews uh, on this webpage on Black Information Network. You want to look for her. It is former Deputy Chief Brenda Goss, and she is explaining the importance of gun safety. So it wasn't a big story. I just wanted y'all to know about it. Moving on, we have a story. We, we're getting into the celebrity news. Good grief. All right, here we go. Sheesh. Ain't nobody got time for that. So David Spade's Ross's joke still haunts Eddie Murphy after 30 years. So this was reported today. Finally, something done today. Uh, Saturday Night Live has been a pillar of American comedy since the mid-70s when 19-year-old... Damn, I didn't know he was that young. Night... What is that? What was that? Something happened. Is that my... Let me go check something over here. Sometimes I, I, I'm i on my Twitch too, so I don't know. Something might have happened. I might have missed something. I don't know. I heard something weird. Or somebody sent me something. Or maybe it was a sticker. I don't know. Somebody probably sent me a sticker. I don't know. Anyways, um, what was that? Okay. So Saturday Night Live... Let's see here now. So he joined the cast from 1980 to 1985. Many said those were the best seasons of SNL. After his departure, Murphy starred in box buster movies like Coming to America and Mulan. Although Murphy was a stand-up comedian, thank you. Although Murphy was a stand-up comedian before SNL, he admits the show helped propel his career on the big screen. I had a blast up here, Murphy recalled during a 2020 SNL interview. There isn't a better place for me to have been than here. So why did it take him 20 years to return to SNL? There has been much speculation over the years, but in a recent interview with New York Times, Murphy said David Spade's 1995 joke about him was the cause. Spade became a member of the SNL of SNL in 1990, well after Murphy left. But in 1995, as part of the Hollywood Minute sketch, Spade said, laughing next to a photo of Murphy, look, children, it's a falling star. Make a wish. That's not funny. It really isn't. It's kind of fucked up. And he really did. Uh, he comes off as a douchebag a lot of times. Spade's jab directly followed the release of the film Vampire in Brooklyn. I only watched it once. Starring Murphy alongside Ang Angela Bassett, which tanked in theaters. Murphy did not take light to uh, Spade's comment about his career. In fact, Murphy told the New York Times, "I'm one of the family, and you're a fucking and you're fucking with me like that. It hurts. It hurts my feelings like that." According to Murphy, it wasn't just about a fellow SNL cast member making an insensitive joke about him. 
I know what he can't just, I know that he can't just say that, Murphy said. A joke has to go through channels. So the producers thought it was okay to say that. And all the people that had been on the show, you've never heard nobody make a joke about anybody's career. Murphy called the joke a cheap shot. And although he did not further explain, he said there was a Ross's intent behind it. I don't know what it is, but please explain. After the episode aired, Spade said the Harlem Night Star called and let him have it. In, in his 2015 memoir, Spade wrote how Murphy hated him, and it wasn't until 20 years after his stupid joke that the pair cut the tension and squashed the beef. Well, at least he stands on business, because he didn't sit up there and let it just go under. Unfortunately for fans, this meant Murphy would not turn, return to SNL until the show's 40th anniversary in 2015. Since then, Murphy has hosted the show uh, in 2019. Do not. What are you sniffing? There is nothing to sniff. It, it, the gumbo is gone. Sorry, y'all. So that's what's up with that. Um, I'm not sure why they're telling us this shit now, unless he's still, you know, mad about it. I thought they squashed it. Real talk. Now, now you got me confused. But moving on, we have some somber news. One of our. Um, one of our uh, constants in uh, black television and being a, a, a constant um, presence in the movies, Bill Cobbs has, has left at 90. But what can I say? He lived a long life. So that is great. Let's, let's move it. Okay. Emotional content. Celebrities pay tribute to actor Bill Cobbs following unaliving at 90. This was reported on the 28th because this, this website, I hate to say, does not update on weekends. No, it was reported on the 27th. Okay, so y'all know who I'm talking about now, right? And maybe if y'all didn't know, this is Bill Cobbs. I know his face. So I'm not good with names, but I know faces. So celebrities are paying tribute to actor Bill Cobbs, who unalived on Tuesday, June 25th at the age of 90. Cobbs' brother Thomas broke the news on Wednesday, June 26th, saying the actor died unalived peacefully in his California home. We are saddened to share the passing of Bill Cobbs on Tuesday, June 25th. Bill passed away peacefully at his home in California, the brother wrote on Facebook. A beloved partner, big brother, uncle, surrogate, parent, godfather, and friend, Bill recently and happily celebrated his 90th birthday surrounded by cherished loved ones. As a, What the heck was that? Somebody is sending me stuff, and I don't know what it is, but it's scaring the hell out of me. Thank you, though. I wish I knew what it was. As a family, we are comforted knowing Bill has found peace and eternal rest with his heavenly father. We ask for our your prayers and encouragement during the time, Thomas added. Cobbs was known for his roles in Night at the Museum, The Sopranos, and The Bodyguard. The actor also appeared on One Tree Hill Star Trek Enterprise, The Drew Carey Show, The Taking of Pelham, 123, Air Bud, oh God, Air Bud, The Color of Money, and more. Suit star Wendell Pierce shared a tribute on Twitter in honor of Cobbs, who mentored him. A father figure, a griot, an iconic artist that mentored me by the way he led his life as an actor. Uh, Pierce said, he played my father twice in I'll Fly Away and The Gregory Hines Show. I never really watched that show. Each time imparting wisdom and a part of encouragement. Uh, we owe a great de debt to Bill Cobbs, along with Mary Alice. Sam Art Williams, Ron Milner, Lou Gossett Jr., and the others we have recently. We lost Goose. Oh, Lord. He did that. I, didn't, I gotta go look that up, man. Uh, Abbott Elementary star Cheryl Lee Ralph also shared her condolences in the wake of Cobbs' is unaliving. Emmy, Emmy winner, working actor, and wonderful human being, Bill Cobb transitioned to act on a higher stage June 25th after celebrating his 90th birthday June 16th. Rest in peace, Ralph tweeted. Man was sharp. Actress Penny Johnson Gerald shared her reaction to Cobb's death. What a guy, what a soul, hashtag soul, what a hashtag talent. Well, I'm not doing these. What a thespian, what a legend, so many beautiful laugh out loud moments with the great Bill Cobb she wrote. That's too many hashtags. You could have just wrote that. Sheesh. And um, that's the tribute for him. Um, what can I say? I mean, I remember seeing him, him in a lot of movies, a lot of black movies, a lot of movies in general. 
Uh, the man lived a long life and he probably saw so many things. Uh, maybe he, I, I hope he has autobiography because I'm pretty sure he has a lot of things to talk about. 